This is a review of Primal Branding, Create Zealots for Your Brand, Your Company, and Your Future. This book is good for understanding marketing in a primitive business sense. Not just buying marketing ads, but creating something powerful or enthusiastic or something that has high energy. The primitive is much more natural in reality. Here are the seven primal codes. The creation story, whether it be selling a story about how far you've come or a quick small talk that instantly triggers interest. For instance, what is a common question people ask when you meet people is, where are you from? It is more instinctual and primitive and survivalist. At the end of the day, man is a storytelling machine versus the drab of the truth. And an easy answer to anyone asking a question is an illustrious story. How did this business start? How did you start? Where are you from? Next, the creed. This is what you want people to believe, the backbone to the brand. What do you stand for in a sales point of view? The icons, its identity, it's fresh and fast. Being at the top of the game, a sign, a sound, or a seductive aroma that's being emitted. And something concrete and found and molded and not skeptical. The rituals, this is a play on order and habit. It means specific actions related to a primitive brand, such as what Legos does, it means play well. So you wanna keep on being at play. And one way is to enhance customer service. And in relation to my previous video, which was kind of funny, is what doesn't kill us. I mentioned Canyon Ranch Spa in Las Vegas. What it represents is the care and the relaxation. So what the customers do is they're more caring, they're more empathetic versus other places, say like a McDonald's where they just hand you your food. And every time you go to the spa or any other spa, you're looking to be cared for. These sacred words, such as my title, The Sleeping Elephant, it's a tagline to live up to, a, a unique character or a uniqueness. Why is it different than others? And some type of deep belief to keep you believing. Deep meaning to keep you alive and to bring fire. The pagans and non-believers. This is the friction to your business. The haters, the people that don't understand you, could be trolls. And this can be good. They may be skeptical to throw you off. And by them being different, you can think different. You are misunderstood, a big mystery. And at some point, they may come to love you or not, or even rekindle. Everybody's going to always have haters. It gives you a challenge to create stories and narratives to be on their side. They're not just enemies, they're competition. And in general, it'd be boring if you had none. Understand this through a circular fashion is a stark contrast to the angle of the naysayer. Word of mouth spreads, and there's no such thing as bad publicity. I believe in second chances, and you can redeem yourself again. Leaders. So you could follow this, you could follow that, you could follow them on YouTube. It's mostly about survival. It makes life easy. And especially with man being a social animal, that a leader tends to give that spark, the enthusiasm to be that visionary. And when that brand has that vision and can have a highly seductive aroma, corn on the cob or even perfume. And this next section has to do with YouTube businesses and niches in general. For instance, I asked this other YouTuber, Hell Balder, on Instagram, and he said, to be successful on YouTube, you got to be better at something or say or do the business in a more unique way. Be more compelling. You can bring enthusiasm and fire, even if it's outrage. Do not look to copy or be a mimic cry. And then another YouTuber, Sean Kennel, who I've met a couple of times, it's being different is better than better. Do it yourself and take action. And whenever they click on your video, it's to help them with their own survival in a primitive sense and to connect with your primitive tribe, your community. And I'm going to close off with my opinion of the book. The most important thing is word of mouth, not just run a business, but to have that credibility. You could just read and learn. Primal codes are really about survival and the natural world, not as you see it, but as it is. In terms of nature, there's earth, wind, fire, and the void. There's a primitive spirit. People have memories and it's an animal in itself to ignite any part of that memory. You could just check out elephants. It's not just being ultra technical and knowledgeable and taking the cheap route in terms of just buying ads. It's like buying your friends, buying a point of view, and there's no conviction or credibility behind it. The market is the market. And I do recommend buying no ads to really support your business. If you're a big business, yeah, maybe. These Facebook or Google ads, there is such a wash of just too many ads. And by the time I work or pay for those, I can create and do more work. Why follow or listen to someone who pays for the right to stand at a platform? They're not a prince or a princess. It's more important to be a perennial seller or to have a huge impact or to deliver like a Jimi Hendrix experience, a deep belief to keep it believing. 
You can bring enthusiasm like a cult leader, which tend to have charisma and vision, make a huge positive impact, and don't do things just for profit, but reinvest. It's the gift the void. The void will provide. The universe will provide. And in general, corporate crap doesn't matter. If you don't like the product, you're not going to like the product. They want you to stay in some bounds. And at the end of the day, the game is primitive. It's not intellectual.